the Quaker Oats Company, makers of fine foods for the whole family, presents America's favorite family, the Nelsons. Ozzie, Harriet, David, and Ricky. And now a word about one of the many fine Quaker products, Kennel Ration. Picking the right puppy to belong to is a mighty important decision. Yes, there's no other dog in the world like yours. No other dog food like Kennel Ration, America's favorite dog food. Dogs grow strong and healthy on Kennel Ration. It's so good and wholesome. Kennel Ration is packed with lean red meat. It contains wholesome steaks, chops, and roasts of U.S. government-inspected horse meat, plus other nutrients a dog is known to need. The kind of protein-rich food today's dogs require. <laughs> yes, there's no other dog in the world like yours. And no other dog food like Kennel Ration. Put your trust in Kennel Ration with lean red meat. More people do. Now, Quaker invites you to enjoy... Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet. Harriet! Harriet! Darn doorknob. When you gotta fix it? Well, I thought I fixed it last week. I guess I'm just not very good at fixing doorknobs. How are you at painting? Oh, uh, how do you like that color? Oh, that's very nice. Oh, thanks. Oh, and you got it on your face and your shirt and your pants. Well, these are my old clothes. It's my old face, too, for that matter. <laughs> <laughs> how about the doorknob? Uh, yeah, well, I'll, I'll fix that later. Oh, say, how about the hose on the washing machine? Well, I'll, I'll fix that. And the loose shingles on the garage roof? Well, I'll get around to all that stuff. Good. And when you're finished, I've got a list of odds and ends I want you to fix for me. <laughs> first things first, dear. Hi, Oz. What you doing? I'm uh, uh, mowing the lawn. <laughs> what am I going to do? Oh, the doorknob came off again, huh? Yeah, a, a darn thing. Uh, do you know anything about fixing doorknobs? Yeah, a little bit, but I got problems of my own. I got to put in a new furnace this afternoon. Say, can I borrow my screwdriver back from you? Yeah, here it is right here. Oh, you got paint all over it. Well, I've been opening up paint cans. Oh. Hey, cut it out. What are you doing? I'll <laughs> see you later, Oz. Well, uh, what's your hurry? Well, I got to get back to the house. I got a lot of work to do. You know, sometimes I get to wishing we were living in an apartment. Oh, I don't know. I think it's kind of nice to have a place you can call your own. Well, it's also kind of nice to be able to play golf and go fishing instead of fixing doors and leaky faucets. Well, things can go wrong in an apartment, too, you know. Oh, yeah, sure, but you can always call the landlord. What's more, you can call him from the golf course while you're waiting to tee off. Yeah, I guess you got a point there. Well, I better be getting back to the house. I left Claire in the cellar unpacking the new furnace. See you tonight. Tonight? Yeah, Clara tells me you and Harriet are coming over to play bridge. And you better wear a sweater. We may not have any heat. <laughs> You want to see if this works now? Good for you. What'd you do to it? Well, uh, actually, it wasn't too difficult. I put in a new bulb. <laughs> You're telling me the switch was broken for the last three months. Well, I, I thought it was. I, I was wrong. Okay, as long as it works. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Yeah, uh, maybe it is the switch. Well, how do we turn this off? Well, the same way we've been turning it off for the last three months. <laughs> well, you know, we could leave the ladder here and unscrew the bulb each time. I think it'd be easier to put a new switch in there. Yeah, well, I'll get around to it. You keep telling me that. Uh, you know, we won't have to worry about any of this stuff after we sell the house. Who says we're going to sell the house? <laughs> Just testing you for reaction. You know, it might not be a bad idea. Well, there's only one thing. If we sell the house, where would we live? In an apartment. Oh, you're not serious. Well, I don't know. It has its advantages. 
for instance, if you're living in an apartment and something goes wrong, you just phone the superintendent and he sends somebody over to fix it. Yeah, I suppose so. Of course, uh, on the other hand, the, the boys have lived here practically all their lives. It's home to them. They have a, a feeling of security here. I get it. Hello? Oh, hi, Dave. Oh, all right, dear. Well, have a good time. Bye. What do you want? He wanted to tell us he wouldn't be home tonight. He's going to have dinner out and stay over at Wally's. You know, it just occurred to me the boys aren't home too much anyway these days. And it won't be long before they have places of their own. Well, yeah, that's uh, something to think about. It's going to be an awfully big house for just the two of us. Yeah. Of course, as I say, though, it's always been home to them. I wonder how they'd feel about it if we did sell the house. Gee, I don't know, Pop. It's up to you and Mom. Well, not entirely. We'd kind of like to know how you and Dave feel about it. Well, Dave will probably be getting married pretty soon, and frankly, I've been thinking about moving down to the fraternity house. Oh, well, uh, wouldn't you miss the old homestead? I'd miss Mom's cooking, that's for sure. But then we could always come up to the apartment for dinner, couldn't we? Oh, oh, yeah, sure. Oh, gee, I better get going. Oh, well, wait, don't you want any dessert? Oh, that's okay. We'll probably stop off at the mall shop a little later on. Oh, well, have a good time. Thanks. Oh, and don't worry about us as far as the apartment's concerned. Anything you want to do is okay with us. Bye. 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 Well, can you think of any other excuse for us not to move? <laughs> now I'm going to miss these evenings. How do you mean? Oh, going across the street to the Randolphs to play bridge or dropping in on the Darbys next door. Well, even if we do move, it doesn't mean we won't see our friends anymore. Well, I know, but you kind of lose track of people when you move to a new neighborhood. You sure my sweater's in this closet? Mm-hmm. It's way in the back. You know, this house is kind of big. <laughs> Come on, Clara. Just a minute, I have to think about it. What's Trump? Hey, Clara, for goodness sake. That's great. Took you five minutes to lose the game. Well, course. let's not play anymore, huh? Oh, that suits me. I didn't feel much like playing tonight anyway. Yeah, what's the matter with you two? You seem to be preoccupied. Oh. Well, we, we've been kind of talking over the possibility of selling our house and moving to an apartment. Oh, you can't be serious. Yeah. You mean because of what I said today? I was just kidding. Well, maybe so, but what you said makes a lot of sense. Don't be ridiculous. Joe never says anything that makes sense. Clara, <laughs> please. Gee, Oz, I don't know what to say. What made you decide this? Well, the, the, the boys are grown up. They're, they're not home much, and it, it's a pretty big place, you know. Gee, I hope you change your mind. If you don't, we're, we're sure gonna miss you. Oh, thanks, Joe. We'll miss you, too. Oh, this is awful. If you move away, Harry, who can I complain to about Joe? You can still talk to her on the telephone. Oh, will you have the same number? I don't know yet. They don't even know if they're gonna move. See, we've just been thinking about it, talking it over. Say, say, here's the thought. If you do decide to move, and I sure hope you don't, it might work out perfectly. Well, in what way? Well, Clara's brother's moving here, and he asked me to be on the lookout for a house for him. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Uh, how much do you want for your place, Oz? <laughs> I, I really haven't uh, thought much about it. It is kind of run down, isn't it? Oh, no, it's in wonderful condition. Oh, I know it looks fine and all, but you told me yourself about all the things that needed fixing. Well, they're, they're just little things. Yeah, but it's the little things that lead to the big things. I'm afraid you may find you're not going to get as much for it as you think, Oz. Why, well, I, I don't... It's, it's a well-built house. I just can't believe it, you two moving to a small apartment. Well, it won't be too small. Are you going to have a dining room? Oh, probably not. Well, Harry, if you decide to sell your dining room set, will you let me know about it? Well, we haven't looked for an apartment yet. Gee, Oz, it's going to feel awful funny looking out the window and not see you working in your garden. Oh, yeah, I, I, I suppose it will. Say, speaking of gardening, you might as well give me your gardening tools, Oz. I got most of them over here anyway. 
just want to have something to remember you by. Joe's so sentimental. <laughs> of course, uh, we haven't made up our minds, definitely. It's me. Oh, hi, Doc. Oh, hi, Doc. Well, uh, don't let me interrupt your game. No, it's all over anyway. I just came by to see if I could borrow a wrench. The faucet in our bathroom's leaking. Is it bad? Not if you're wearing hip boots. <laughs> Pleasures of owning your own home. <laughs> What are you laughing at? You own one, too. Not for long. They're moving into an apartment. No kidding. Where? Oh, well, uh, we don't know yet. Well, I want to make sure I get your new address. Oh, oh, yeah. I want to know where to send my final bill. <laughs> well, as I, I say, we haven't definitely... We're sure going to miss you, Oz. Oh, uh, well, uh, thanks a lot. Uh, uh, by the way, who are you giving your gardening tools to? Oh, no, you don't. I've already spoken for well, those. Well, you've been using them for years. You ought to give somebody else a chance. Harry, so tell me your dining room, Sam. <laughs> we haven't definitely... Uh, we, we probably... Uh, uh, we, we'll look for an apartment tomorrow. <laughs> Hello, I'm Bud Wilkinson, football coach at the University of Oklahoma. I'd like to talk to Bob and Sally here and to youngsters and parents everywhere about a very serious problem. Studies show that four out of five school children today do not get a nutritionally proper breakfast. And many eat none at all. Now as a coach, I know how impossible it is for anyone to do his best, mentally or physically, without a good breakfast to start the day. Especially you growing youngsters. But well, what do you call the breakfast, coach? Well, Bobby, here's what experts call ideal. Fruit, a cereal-like oatmeal, milk, bread and butter. That way you get up to a third of your day's protein, plus important vitamins and minerals. It's a perfect breakfast for everyone. But I thought oatmeal was for little kids. Little kids, Sally? Well, oatmeal is the favorite cereal of our football players, and those little kids average 190 pounds and six feet tall. Gee, Coach, that's good enough for me. Me too. <laughs> Mrs. Nelson? Mr. Nelson? Oh, this is very nice. Very nice. Yeah, just put a little more light on the subject. Yeah, maybe I can help you here. Oh, well, thank you very much. I'll have to call the superintendent and have him come up and fix that. Well, this is the living room. It's very nice. Very nice. And this is the closet. Now, right down here, we have a lovely view of the swimming pool. Oh, yes, that's just beautiful. Uh, this closet's kind of small, isn't it? Small? <laughs> You're the first one who's ever said that, Mr. Nelson. Besides, that's only a guest closet. We have a tremendous wardrobe in the bedroom. But I'll show you that later. First, I want to show you the kitchen. Uh, oh, there's the phone jack and the built-in television antenna. Uh, uh, wait a second. Uh, uh, suppose you want to put the television set on the other side of the room. All of our tenants have their television sets on that side of the room. The reception is better. Now, this is something I'm sure you'll appreciate, Mrs. Nelson. Our honeymoon kitchen. Oh, very nice. How long have you two been married? Oh, we have two boys in college. Oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, maybe I can. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that now, this is our broom closet. Oh, yeah. So, so uh, you mentioned the swimming pool. Doesn't it get awful noisy when everybody's splashing around in the pool? No. All of our tenants are very quiet swimmers. Now, uh, notice the cupboards. Aren't they beautiful? Garbage disposal, modern stove. Uh, uh, pardon me. Uh, Harriet, do you think there's enough room for our dishes here? Well, I don't know. Oh, I'm sure there's enough room for your dishes in there. Here, let me show you the bedroom. Right this way. The whole place seems kind of small, cramped. And, of course, this is your linen closet. <laughs> And this is the bedroom, Mrs. Uh, Nelson. <laughs> well, how do you open the windows? Open the windows? Well, yeah, I kind of like to sleep with the windows open. Well, this apartment is air-conditioned. Haven't you noticed, Mr. Johnson? Oh, uh, uh, Nelson. <laughs> this is the wardrobe I mentioned before. Isn't it nice and roomy? Well, uh, frankly, I thought it was going to be a little bigger than that. Well, most of our tenants find it more than adequate. Oh, we'll see, uh, after living in, in a house all these years... Oh, yeah, you do get used to having more space. Yeah, we have a big dining room and a den. I think I've got the perfect solution for you. Oh, what's that? Oakfield Acres. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. You mean uh, some kind of a real estate development? <laughs> Oakfield Acres is more than a development. We like to think of it as a way of life. 
An economical answer to gracious living. Uh, that might be an idea, Harriet. Still have a few choice lots available. Well, I thought you didn't want to live in a house. Too much responsibility. Mrs. Nelson, these houses no responsibility at all. Practically no upkeep. No lawns or messy trees to worry about. It's just beautiful flagstone and rock garden. And all repairs are done by a trained staff of workmen right there in the premises. Gee, that, 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 that really sounds interesting. I have an application blank right here. <laughs> so fast, we'd like a little time to think it over. Oh, certainly. I don't want to rush you. It's just that these choice lots are going so fast, I, I hate to have you lose out on it. Shall I phone you tonight? Well, uh, uh, why don't you call us in a, in a couple of days? That'll, that'll give us a chance to figure out the whole situation. Very good, Mr. Olson. Uh, Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> I think if we put the sofa there, there'll be room for the chairs with the window. And then a little table will fit right in there. What do you think? Ozzie? Ozzie? Pop was saying I thought it was going to be real small. <laughs> yes, sir, put your clothes in the bedroom. Oh, and the table. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, Harriet, some more guests are arriving. Oh, yeah. Oh, ah, help, 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 Good morning, fellas. Oh, hi, Pop. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you'd already had breakfast. Oh, uh, that's okay. Uh, where's your mother? She went downtown. Uh, were you having a nightmare or something last night, Pop? I heard you yelling, help. Oh, uh, <laughs> sort of, I guess. Uh, I was dreaming about that apartment your mother and I were looking at yesterday. You're not really going to sell a house and move into an apartment, are you, Pop? 
Oh, uh, no, I, I don't think so, Dave. I'm afraid I'd feel too cramped. Gee, I'm glad to hear that. Rick and I were talking about it, and we decided we'd really miss this place if you sold it. Well, I kind of got the idea that you guys would rather live in the fraternity house. Isn't that what you said, Rick? Well, yeah, I guess I did, but I, I still like to come home once in a while. You know, get a good square meal and pick up my laundry. <laughs> After all, we've lived in this house ever since we were born. Sort of seems like home to us. Well, yeah, but, you know, you guys will be getting married in a few years. Yeah, but I still like to come back to visit, and it wouldn't seem like home if I couldn't come back here. Well, gee, I'm glad to hear it, because that's just the way I feel. Uh, did your mother say where she was going? She didn't tell me. Did she tell you, Rick? Yeah, she said she was going out of the real estate office. Now, now wait a second. Uh, she's not going to take a lease on the apartment, is she? Well, I don't know. She didn't say. Would you mind trying it again, operator? It, it can't be busy this long. You want some syrup on these, Pop? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll put it on. Thanks, Rick. Uh, uh, hello? Hello? You want some coffee, Pop? Uh, uh, yes, uh, please, Dave. Uh, hello? How do you want it, Pop? Uh, is Mr. Fowler there? Uh, how do you want it, Pop? Uh, no coffee, just cream. Uh, Mr. <laughs> uh, this is Mr. Nelson. Uh, no, uh, Dave, I mean no sugar, uh, just cream. Uh, this is Mr. Nelson. Is my coffee there? Is my uh, wife there? <laughs> No, she left quite a while ago. Well, so she didn't rent that apartment, did she? Well, no, she said you decided against it. Oh, good. Well, if you're looking for her, I believe she's over at the architect's office. Architect? Yes, we recommended a very fine architect. Very good builder. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Nelson, are you all right? Uh, uh, yes, uh, 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 thank you very much. What's the matter, Pop? Well, I can't understand your mother. She's over at the architect's making plans to build a new house. What's wrong with this house? Well, th there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, oh, a few little things once in a while, but it's a nice house. What's your mother thinking about? Anybody home? You know darn well there's somebody home. You just smelled coffee and pancakes cooking, and you came over here to mooch another breakfast. Hey, fellas. Hi, Mr. Hi, Mr. Edo. Edo. Oh, no cream and sugar for me, Dave. I just take it black. Ah, those pancakes sure look good. Oh, thanks, Rick. You're to blame for this whole thing. You know that, don't you? Oh, they are good. What was that, Alt? You were the one who put this ridiculous thought in Harriet's head. Do you know where she is right now? I haven't the slightest idea. In fact, I don't even know where Clara is. <laughs> well, uh, Clara's probably downtown pricing dining room sets so she can beat Harriet down when she tries to buy ours. Well, it's not for sale. We're not moving. Oh, really? Well, I'm glad to hear it. I'll bet you are. Where is Harriet? She didn't tell me. Well, she's down at the architect's drawing up plans to build a new house. For my brother-in-law? Your brother-in-law? What's he got to do with it? He was going to buy your house, remember? Oh, wait a minute. It seems to me we shook hands on a deal. Oh, no, you don't. We're not going to sell the house. I don't care what Harriet says, what you say, what Clara says, or the architect, or the builder, or Mr. Fowler. Don't forget my brother-in-law. And especially your brother-in-law. You can just tell him he doesn't have a deal. We do not have a house to sell. Oh, great. That works out perfectly, Oz. In what way? I was just kidding. I don't have a brother-in-law. <laughs> I just made him up. I didn't want you to sell the house and move away. Where else could I find a neighbor like you? with your miserable disposition, your obnoxious personality. Can't you see, Oz? I love you. <laughs> oh, by the way, can I borrow your lawnmower? No, you can't. <laughs> come back here with those pancakes. Well, how are we going to talk Mom out of this? Well, it, it won't be easy, that's for sure. She's obviously pretty well sold on the idea, or she wouldn't be down at the architect's right now. I mean, she's got her strategy all mapped out. Well, what do you mean? Well, the way I figure it, and I know your mother pretty well, she's coming in here prepared. She'll have all the preliminary sketches with her, so we can see exactly what the new house is going to be like. Well, what do you think we ought to do? Well, after all, we've always run this family on a democratic basis. We'll simply tell your mother that we've taken a vote, and we refuse to sell the house. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's take a vote. Well, all right. Now, all those in favor of not selling the house, say aye. Aye. Well, wait a minute, Pop. Shouldn't that be stated affirmatively? All those in favor of selling the house? Well, what difference does it make? The results are the same? Yeah, no, let, let, let's uh, do it this way. All those in favor of not selling the house, say aye. 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 Okay, then th that's settled. It's a three-to-one vote. Now, remember, no matter how much your mother protests, the vote is three-to-one against her. <laughs> <laughs>
Hi, fellas. Hi, oh, hi, Mom. Did I miss something? No, no, y you're just in time. Sit down, we'll bring you up to date. Well, now, wait a minute. Before we go any further, I just heard you taking a vote. And I think I know what you're voting about. But listen to what I have to say. Well, okay, but you're not going to change our vote. Well, I've just been over to the architect's office. Uh, yes, we know. And I have some plans here, some preliminary sketches. Yes, uh, we know that, too. <laughs> well, now, I realize you already have your minds made up, but please, fellas, let's not sell the house. What? <laughs> uh, just a second, fellas. Uh, let your mother have her say. Well, uh, go ahead, dear. Uh, uh, what are those? I mean, uh, what are they sketches of? Well, these are plans for a playroom. Playroom? Yeah, I figured that the boys could have their parties there and we could entertain there and show our home movies. And then later on, when our grandchildren come to visit us, we could turn it into a nursery. Whoa, whoa, wait a second, Mom. I haven't even picked out a girl yet. Me either. No, no, no. <laughs> well, fellas, you know, your mother likes to have things planned well in advance. Then you like the idea? Well... Can we take another boat on it? What do you say, fellas? Oh, okay. Right. Okay. All those in favor of selling the house, say no, aye. No, wait a minute. Shouldn't you put it the other way? All those in favor of not selling the house? Well, uh, why say it that way? Well, it's the way you said it before. <laughs> <laughs> All those in favor of not selling the house, say aye. 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 <laughs> Next week, Ozzy and Harriet will be brought to you by Eastman Kodak Company. And now, let's join the Nelsons in Hawaii. In Hawaii, it's traditional to toss these flowers into the water as you leave. If they float back to shore, it's said that you're sure to come back again. I hope that's true. But there's one sure way to enjoy your vacation over again. Just take lots of movies. Boy, you can just about feel those waves right now. Today, taking movies is easier than it ever was. This Brownie automatic movie camera adjusts itself to changing light automatically. I took this in bright sunlight, and this in deep shade, and both shots came out fine, automatically. It's a great way to enjoy your vacation again and again. Color movies made with a Brownie automatic movie camera. Kodak's Brownie automatic movie camera costs $74.50 or as little as $7.50 down. Other Brownie movie cameras start at $32.50. Remember, only a Brownie gives you so much pleasure at so low a cost. tonight by the Quaker Oats Company. Quaker, producers of more than 50 foods for the family. Next time you shop, try one of the many fine products of the Quaker Oats Company. Be sure and see David in his latest motion picture. It's called 30 and he co-stars with Jack Webb. Of course, I may be prejudiced, but I think he does a wonderful job. And speaking of the boys, I hope you have Ricky's new album. We think it's his best yet. It's called Songs by Ricky. Hire the handicapped. It's good business. Many employers know that, and they do hire the handicapped. A survey conducted by the United States government showed that disabled workers have better safety records. So when you need help, hire the handicapped. They're safe workers, reliable workers. And with safety records like theirs, you'll be doubly glad you hired them. So call your local office of the State Employment Service today. This has been an ABC Television Network film presentation.